Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Valkyrie 6, also known as Harold, and welcome back to Voya Nui Online Game. Today we're going to be starting Chapter 8 to get started near the end. I'm glad that you made it, Thor. When we saw Redok take you to the Chamber of Truth, we feared we would never see you again. Something strange is going on near the uh, Volmai Volcano and the Lake of Lava. The Paraka have been very busy there recently. They must be closing in on the Mask of Life. We can't let them find it. Travel there and investigate the lake and lava reservoirs. Spy on them from a high place and make sure they aren't that you aren't seen. We need to know what the Karaka are planning. I'll show you two good spots on your map where you should be able to spy undetected. When you have a good idea about what's going on, come back and talk to me. Okay. So, let's go. So I skipped to chapter 8. I skipped some of the more boring parts. And skip forward, giving myself some of this equipment here that you see here. I gave myself the keys. I gave myself uh, up to level 46. Um, giving myself fire shredders and fire talons, um, stone harpoon, soul stone, and a full set of uh, armor two, two attack and one um, defense. All in my element. I'm Jala right now. Now, you may be going, Harold, what the heck are you doing, man? Uh, you've skipped forward and. Uh, you don't have that gear. I know I don't have that gear, but I have played with this gear at this level. Um, obviously, I had slightly more gear. And uh, I'm going to play with this, and this should be enough. Uh, what I really wanted to do was, since this Let's Play is already fairly long, and I know making episodes is quite difficult for me to do, um, I figured that I, what I would do is skip forward, um, get to the more interesting parts, especially like the finale, and show you that part. So there's going to be a little bit more of tedium before getting up to uh, the final boss battle and whatnot. But we're going to skip through um, to that point. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this. Um, if I can find where I need to go. <laughs> anyway, I'll just skip to all the the quest in, um, all the quest stuff that's happening. Um, and if there are any interesting battles or equipment that I get, I'll show that as well. But uh, mainly what I want to do is sort of wrap up the series with at least the finale um, because it was starting to drag. This is a long series, so watching like a video series of this can get quite tedious. It's very fun to play, however. I also just want to mention, uh, like before, with the equipment and stuff that I have played, I have finished the game on my own time and I have played with this exact equipment equipment I'm pretty sure um, so we should be good and this should be enough to beat up all of the Paraka and um, the final boss as well so yeah we should be good So the Paraka are using the Matorn to drain the Lake of Lava. But why would they need to do that? You should talk to Dalu at the fortress. She might know more. So Garan sent you to a cold weather matorn to ask about a blazing hot volcano. Well, good thing for you, I do know a thing or two about the lava. If nothing else, I know how to stay away from it. But I guess that isn't an option for you, right? If the Mask of Life really is under there, you're going to want to talk to one of the matorn slaves they've got working on the lake draining. And as it happens, one of the ones you've freed is still holding out in the village. If I were you, I'd go talk to him 
and come back when you're done. Of course, if I will, I'd also be a lot taller. It's the tour. Thank you again. Yes, I was one of the Matoran they had working on the, the lake of lava. They were making us empty all by opening up the dam. The Proca think the chamber of the mask of life is under the lava. If they empty the lake, they'll be able to get inside. So, that's what their plan is. Well, Tar, I'll have to act quickly now. But you're going to need some special equipment if you're going to run around near the Lake of Lava. Bring us back some metal from the Fire Gaffner in the Black Rocks region. Ten of them should be enough. While you're grinding, you might as well have some fun. So that's kind of what I did here. I think you get the picture. I guess that'll do. Here you go, Tom. This should protect you from fire damage. And it'll do extra fire damage to your enemies as well. Perfect thing for the volcano, right? The first thing you should do is free one of the Matorn who are working near there. Take him to the sanctuary in the jungle. It's a shared place. That'll keep the proc occupied while we figure out what to do next. We've got a spy working northeast of the dam station. If you take him with you, that should make good bait for the Paraka. You'll probably have to battle some guardians in Neck 10, but that should be pretty easy for you by now. You're a big, strong tour after all. Uh, go talk to Gran when you're done. You want me to serve as bait? I see. If they must search the island for me, they will have to divide their forces. Alright, then. Let's go. Ah. New weapon of supreme power. Saw that one coming. And a pop. 
powerful soul stone. Let's give that a shot, shall we? Dolu tells me you did well near the Lake of Lava. I think your quest is nearing an end, Doa. Let us hope it is an end that will save Matanui. While the Brock are occupied looking for their missing slaves in the jungle, we're going to finish their work and beat them to the prize. You'll have to drain the Lake of Lava and get into the Chamber of the Mask of Life. If it is, really is down there, that is. The controls for the dam are in the building by the lava reservoirs. If you can find a way inside, you should open the dam to empty the lake. If you have any problems, talk to Peruk. He knows the area pretty well after all his scouting. Mm -hmm. 